Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist practicing in New Orleans, Louisiana, and I would like to take a few moments to discuss with you the urologic condition referred to as retrograde ejaculation. In this three to five minute video, I'm going to define the problem, I'm going to tell you about the causes of retrograde ejaculation, and what treatments are effective in solving the problem of retrograde ejaculation. Retrograde ejaculation is defined as a condition where the semen or sperm does not exit the body but goes back into the bladder at the time of orgasm. Usually the man will report to have dry uh, ejaculate or no sperm at all at the time of orgasm and ejaculation. I'd like to reassure you that this is not a harmful condition. However, in a younger man, it can be a source of infertility. It does not affect your ability to have an erection, engage in sexual intimacy, or achieve an orgasm. The causes of retrograde ejaculation can be due to medications. Medications that relax this area right here between the bladder neck and the urethra. As a result, if this is relaxed, fluid will go backward into the bladder instead of forward out to the end of the penis. Medications that are responsible for retrograde ejaculation include medications used to treat high blood pressure, medications used to treat the enlarged prostate, such as finasteride or Flomax or Rapiflow can be associated with the problem of retrograde ejaculation. Other medications that are used to treat mood disorders can also cause a dry ejaculate or retrograde ejaculation. There are certain health conditions that are associated with retrograde ejaculation, such as diabetes mellitus, multiple sclerosis, or spinal cord injury can have a high incidence of retrograde ejaculation. Finally, surgical procedures, such as surgical procedures on the prostate that injure that area between the bladder and the prostate can cause the fluid to go backwards into the bladder instead of out of the end of the penis. Now let's turn our attention to the treatment of retrograde ejaculation. There are medications that are available for treating the problem. One of those is amipramine or tofranil, taken 30 to 45 minutes before engaging in sexual intimacy, may cause that muscle to constrict and allow the fluid to go forward instead of backward. There are also a classification of antihistamines such as chlorpheniramine or bromopheniramine that can be used a half hour or 45 minutes before engaging in sexual intimacy. And there are decongestions such as Sudafed, ephedrine, and phenylephrine that can cause the muscle to contract. There are side effects of these medications, particularly the medicines for decongestants, as it can raise your blood pressure and heart rate, which can be dangerous if you have high blood pressure or heart disease. If the problem is one of infertility, then you will need to ejaculate enough semen in order for your sperm to get into your partner's vagina and into her uterus and up the fallopian tubes to fertilize an egg. If the medication does not work, then it is, po it is possible to use assisted 
reproductive technology or techniques or ART in order to get your partner pregnant. This consists of sperm that is recovered after e orgasm and ejaculation that has gone back into the bladder. That sperm is then processed in the laboratory and used to inseminate your partner referred to as intrauterine insemination. Men with retrograde ejaculation are able to get their partners pregnant once they seek treatment. So in summary, retrograde ejaculation is not a very common urologic problem. It is usually related to medication, to surgery, or various medical conditions such as diabetes, multiple sclerosis, or spinal cord injury. Treatment usually begins with the use of medication. For those who have a problem of infertility associated with retrograde ejaculation, assisted reproductive techniques are available using artificial insemination with the husband's sperm in order to achieve a pregnancy. I hope you have found this information useful regarding retrograde ejaculation. If you have any questions, I refer you to my website, www.neilbaum.com. Thank you.